Today we are going over mean, median, mode, and range. Uh, range is the easiest one to remember um, because it's so different from the word mean, median, and mode. And mean, median, and mode is so confusing is because they sort of sound the same. And uh, I remember growing up, it was confusing to find um, all three in the same problem. Um, so I did come up with a, a couple uh, ways to remember them. Um, when you do when you do the problem so that you don't make a mistake um, so that's the first part of the video uh, after that uh, I will do a couple of examples and then I will give you some problems to do so when you're doing the problem remember to pause the video because I will give you the answer right after um, alright so let's get started let's start with the easiest one uh, to me the easiest one is to remember what's range right so range and GE is the easiest one to remember because you, all you have to do is just take the maximum value or the largest value um, and then subtract it by the minimum value or the smallest. Okay, so max minus min, minimum value. Okay, the next the next one I like to uh, go over is mode. Mode is the second most easy to remember because mode sounds just like most. So all you have to remember is mode means finding the number that appeared the most um, in in the group of numbers. Okay, so we, the keyword there is most, and then median is the next easiest one. Median sounds like the word m middle isn't it? So what I normally do is just remember that when I'm looking for the median, all I am doing is looking for the middle number of all my numbers. So they're not the smallest, they're not the biggest, but they're the middle number, okay? And the next one is the most difficult one for people to remember and to do is the word mean. Means, um, I always think of mean as someone being really, really angry or someone mean, so they make you do a lot of work. So to find the mean of something, you have to add all the values up, all the numbers up, add all numbers up, and then you would divide it by the total numbers that you have. Numbers. Okay? So keep those in mind. Uh, once again, the range just means maximum minus minimum. Mode sound like most. So we want to keep that in mind. Median sound like the word middle. Okay. So it just find the middle number, and then mean means you have to someone mean. So they do they want you to do a lot of work, um, and so you have to add all the values up divided by the total numbers. That's how you would distinguish between mean, median, and mode. Because again, that's the most difficult thing for a student to do is to just distinguish the, um, the three from each other. Okay, now that we got the definition and a quick way of remembering those things out of the way, let's take a look at an example, okay? So let's say you have the number 0, 7, 3, 3, and 7. And they would like for you to find the range for this. So what I like to do whenever I have uh, a group of numbers like this is I always want to organize them from smallest to largest. That's my first goal. So I would organize them 0, 3, 3 is the next largest number, uh, 7, and then 7. Okay? So in this case, uh, finding the range is very easy, right? Uh, you guys remember what the range was? It's just to take the maximum minus the minimum. So the maximum in this case is 7 because that is the largest number in those group of numbers 
and then you have the smallest which is 0 so 7 minus 0 is 7 so my range is 7 okay the next thing I want to find is the mode so do you guys remember what mode was mode is just the number that appeared the most right mode equals most so what you need to look at is how many number appear more than once so you have the number three and the number seven both appearing twice so your mode in this case there are two modes the number three and the number seven right because they both appear twice so more than once um, so you want to consider both not uh, just once so if for example the number three appeared three times then in this case the mode would only be three okay um, next you have um, median okay hopefully you guys remember that median sounds sort of like middle okay so what you're going to do is just find the number that appear um, in the middle of the path so what you're going to do is the best way to do this would be to organize it from smallest to largest as we already did then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start crossing them off this is the smallest this is the largest the next smallest and next largest will be crossed off the number that remain is your middle number okay in this case the middle number is 3 okay so let's be consistent and make that a blue 3 okay so next we have to find the mean so again the mean is just to find to add up all the values and then you divide it by the total number of values you have okay so how many do you have here you have five numbers right five numbers five numbers so first you gotta add all the numbers up 0 plus 3 plus 3 plus 7 plus 7 and then divide that by 5 because there are a total of five numbers right you have five numbers here okay so let's see what the answer would be 0 plus 3 is 3 plus 3 would give me 6 plus 7 would give me 13 plus 7 again would give me 20 so I would have 20 divided by 5 which most of you know would give me 4 because 5 times 4 is 20 okay so I hope that was helpful um, after this we will have uh, a couple more example and see if you can do it on your own first and then we'll give you the answer for it okay uh, so I hope that example was specific and helpful to you okay guys now that we have uh, an example down um, I like for you guys to do a couple of exercises and remember once I give me give you the problem so uh, make sure you pause your um, video so that you can try it on your own before you uh, look at the uh, solutions that I give you okay so for the first one the data set include the point two two six four two so I like for you guys to find the mean the median the mode and the range for that okay and then number two it is three five three eight five and zero okay go ahead and press pause on your video and then um, I will give you the solution after this so here are the solutions to exercise number one uh, same as before make sure you always organize the data from smallest to largest first like so and then the range is just the largest uh, value subtract by the smallest value which is largest is 6 smallest is 2 the range is 4 okay then looking at the data you can see that number 2 appear the most it appeared 3 times so 2 is the mode the median 
um, again organize it from smallest to largest like we have done and then look for the number that's right smack in the middle so in this case to do that once you organize it across the smallest and biggest and the next smallest and biggest and then the middle number is 2 so in this case the answer is 2 and the mean is just 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 4 plus 6 divided by 5 because you have 5 numbers the sum of all the numbers uh, give you uh, 6 plus 4 is 10 plus 6 is 16 and divided by the total numbers you have which is you have 5 numbers here right so 16 divided by 5 is 3.2 is your mean got it okay let's take a look at solution for exercise number another way of looking at this is that you can see that if you put a number 4 here see how it is in the middle of 3 and 5 okay uh, last one is the mean for this one so mean would just be 0 plus 3 plus 3 plus 5 plus 5 plus 8 divided by 6 so you have 6 numbers total okay so 0 plus 3 is 3 3 plus 3 is 6 6 plus 5 equals 11 11 plus 5 5 equals 16 16 plus 8 equals 24 and you divide that by 6 your answer is 4 okay all right that concludes uh, the video for range mode median and mean